Good morning. This is day four of our Yosemite adventure. Me and my daughter, we're at Winona and Mariposa Grove. We're going to see the sequoias, and we have 1.9 mile hike to the grove, and we'll get ready to get started. <laughs> we're just getting started. We have decided we're going to be nice and slow paced. We are very tender from our last three days of hiking. We're not in the best shape, but we had an awesome hike yesterday on the Mist Trail. Oh, those waterfalls were amazing. It was worth the pain that we're feeling today. So that is a definite, if we ever come back, that's a definite hike we will do again. But uh, it's a beautiful morning, it's nice and crisp. But uh, 1.9 miles to go before you even get to the groves. Well, let's start now. This is a, that's a pretty good incline that we're on. It's not too hard, but it's, it's got our breathing going already. So I'm hoping this is uh, just at the beginning. I think that's supposed to be a big elevation gain. So I guess we're going to get the gain at the beginning of the hike. <laughs> Well, we're still making our way up. We come out of, out of the, the trees and we're out in the open. It's not as steep here, but we're still still going up. This is some of our, our view. We've had to cross over a couple of trees, and but they're not there, they're manageable. We're back in the trees, going slightly downhill. We've got gone less than a mile, so we have about a mile to go before we get to the groves. It's a beautiful day. Okay, you hiking. Still going. I just came around that corner and spotted this tree. This color is so beautiful. Got that moss on it. Goes up. It's pretty cool. We're still, I got think we have about a, maybe about a half mile and it's pretty cool rock features on the trail. We haven't been seeing many rocks like we had on our other trails but it's pretty cool coming through these rocks well we made it up to the parking lot I guess when the shuttles are running they're not running today but we made it up to the entrance to the grove Let's see what we can see what we can see Okay, so we're still in the parking lot. We can get ready to head on the trail and um, trail over this direction had been closed. They had a big storm in 2021. They, uh, one of the ladies told us they lost about seven trees and the path is closed. So we're going to be going around on the service road. Uh, take that route and see some trees. Like we're just getting started, but this is some of the the views. Went up around here and see some of these famous sequoias. I don't know. This one apparently don't have a name, but wow, that is. That's amazing. 
It's going on up, can't see it even the top of it. These aren't even the the name trees, so We're still, I'm just getting started, but you're not, you're not allowed to walk up to the trees here, not at this section. I'm not sure. We're on the Squirrels. Got y'all fenced off in that big, big storm they had last year. Big tree laying down over there across the path. Yep. Imagine that made a bang when it fell. Yeah, there's quite a few trees down. This is one that you can, I guess, they let you walk up to. And around. There it goes on up. There's some of the down trees in here. We're still still going up the road. And we're just passing uh, trees along the way. It's pretty. They're awesome. Uh, not sure how long it's going to take them before they fix the pass and get the trees removed so people can get back on the pass but thankfully we're able to take this at least come and see most of the trees got a wire going up in that one well we made it to the bachelor and the three graces Yes, he's the bachelor and the three graces back there in the back. Uh, I don't know how to get their names, but maybe I need to look that up. Okay, we're going to leave the bachelor and we're going to head towards grizzly giant and a tunnel view i think tunnel tunnel tree apparently we made it to the one point point one miles the grizzly giant that's massive We we'll stop at this marker. 209 feet tall, 28 feet in diameter, 96 feet circumference at its base. Man, that's a lot bigger than the trees in North Carolina. Grizzly giant. This. You can't appreciate the size. We're not allowed to get all the way to the tree. That's massive. Oh, 
made it to the t tunnel tree. I'm gonna get us some photos in a minute. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're in the tunnel tree. Just took some photos. It's pretty, pretty cool there. Okay, the uh, tunnel tree was carved in 1895. Long time ago. Long time ago. Well, we're getting ready to leave the tunnel tree. We're going to head back down to where we began. We just, uh, our destination today was just to make it to the tunnel tree, so going back down. We're ready to head back down. So we got 1.9 miles back back to the parking lot. So that was cool. I just asked a ranger about some wires I saw uh, up in a couple of trees and that for, for research purposes. And they, they said some um, people that do some studying shoot a crossbow with wires going over it and they get to pull up their climbing equipment with those wires. and. I got my question answered. Anyway, we're headed back down, so I'll probably see you at the bottom. Well, we made it back to the parking lot. That was a good hike. It was um almost almost six miles total. We went just made it to the tunnel tree and turned around. So glad we got to see him in person.